Hey everybody, this is Cash Sports. Before we get into the video, please show some gratitude, like the video, subscribe, and even comment under the video to let us know what you think in regards to our conversations. Hey everybody, welcome to Cash Sports. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about 2021-2022 MVP award. So, Art, we already know who you're going to say. You know Is damn MVP? well who I'm going to say. But I want you to give me a reason why you think Nicole Jokic should win MVP over Giannis and Embiid as these guys are the final three finalists. Okay. Jokic, as we know, won the MVP last year, right? Mm. Correct. He, not only he improved since last year's winnings, he elevated his, his game to a whole new level. He's probably the most, not probably, he's the most efficient player of all time. I think that should give you the reason, but I'll give you more. In every stat, he's top 10 players, such as points, rebounds, assists, and of course efficiency, in which he is number one. Not only that, he's the first person ever to make 2,000 points, uh, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists. If you tell me that's not impressive for an MVP, uh, you must be tripping. Okay, so a few things to kind of point to your argument, right? So. I do think Jokic, if anybody deserves MVP, Jokic is definitely, if he, it's one or two. I don't think Giannis should get MVP because it's kind of, at this point, it's kind of expected him, or expected of him to perform at this level. Uh, so he's kind of past that. But obviously the biggest argument is between Joel Embiid and, and Jokic. So, in regards to what you said with him being the most efficient player in the NBA, right? So, I was looking it up with player efficiency. There's, a, there's some things that player efficiency doesn't take into effect. And when you look at efficiency also, there's other ways to approach on how efficient a player really is. I mean, yes, Jokic scores, rebounds, assists, but it also, but player efficiency it says it takes everything as a whole, but it doesn't account for defense. And it overvalues rebounds, right? So, and th with that being said also, even if you say he's the most efficient player in the league, you have people like Giannis and Embiid who are just decimals away from him. So, and then, and, and then let's look at it from this aspect. I know you've heard people say that Kevin Durant is one of the most efficient players in, in NBA history, correct? Yeah. So when it comes to efficiency, efficiency to me comes from how you are as uh, where you're at field goal wise, where you're at three point wise, where you're at free throw wise, right? So for a player like Steph Curry, Steph Curry's NBA season, right? Mm -hmm. He was one of the most efficient players in the league because he shot 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 90% from the free throw line. That, that is what classifies as efficient. Those are, those free throw, or those statistics classifies as who's efficient and how efficient they are because of how they shoot from the field. Now, I'm not being up Jokic in that aspect. I mean, my argument really is, is that I don't, I wouldn't jump at the opportunity to say that he's the most efficient player ever or the greatest efficient player ever because there's still a lot to be said about how he's going to sustain this level of greatness and for how long. And not to mention the fact that you also have to carry that over to the playoffs. You can't be efficient in the, M in the NBA regular season and then not be as efficient in the NBA playoffs. Now... I do think Embiid, or my fault, I do think Jokic should get MVP because he did have an historic season. He's leading the league in player efficiency. And quite frankly, I mean, you made valid points in points, rebounds, and assists. But another part, the part that you got to look at when, you, when it comes to MVP is you can't just go strictly off numbers 
necessarily. Numbers are, don't get me wrong, numbers are a very big part of the NBA season. It's very huge, right? And it, which is why Jokic is the four, is in the forefront in the first place, right? But the obstacles, almost with the obstacles that Embiid had to face um, from the offseason leading into this season. Uh, Jokic and Embiid had to go through different scenarios, different situations. I mean, we're aware of that, you know, Jamal Murray is hurt. Uh, Michael Porter got hurt in the middle of the season. Um, but you, in, in Bede's case, you had the whole Ben Simmons situation where he, he quit on the team. You had a situation where people were kind of looking down on the 76ers now that Ben Simmons wasn't playing. The 76ers weren't looked at as, as a team that can even compete because Ben Simmons wasn't playing. Starting out in this season, or going into the 2021 and 2022 season, Embiid not only was was at the top of the Eastern Conference, but he was doing it primarily by himself. Mm -hmm. And so, the fact of the matter is, right, historically, the MVP award has always give has always been given to the best player on the best team. Now, I don't necessarily believe that should be the case all the time, but where this started to shift and where this started to change, where we go a little bit off statistics, is when Russell Westbrook won the MVP award, and that changed the game because during his triple double season. It was almost irrefutable to the point where Russell Westbrook had to win the award because it was a historic season. And same goes here. But with that being said, Jokic and the Nuggets were the sixth seed. They were a couple games almost from being in the playing tournament. And the 76ers throughout the whole season, whenever Embiid played, there was nothing but consistency, and they stayed at the top of the Eastern Conference majority of the season. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, he, he's the first center since Shaq to lead the league in scoring, right? And, 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 something you, and something where I would hope you can kind of understand from this point, when you're watching the game, when you're watching Embiid play, you see the dominance. You see why Embiid is so... Like why he's why people are scared to guard him, why people have to foul him. There's something to, there's something to be said about players being the best player and being the most dominant player. And it's it's really coming to the point where the most dominant players in the game, it might be between Joel and B and Giannis Ante the Kumpo. Right? So for me, I mean, personally, I would only give Embiid the award simply because of the fact that I feel like Embiid kind of stayed consistent with everything that went wrong. I mean, with Jokic, I, I don't think there was any fall off or any, or we didn't think it was fraud. But given last year, remember, Jokic played all of the games last year. And Embiid was... An MVP front runner last year, but he got hurt. And so, with this being, with that being said, it's fair to say that Jokic does de deserve the MVP award over Embiid. But I don't think it's as far as people say to say that it's that definitive to say that Jokic is the definitive MVP award because this year was probably the toughest MVP award. For anybody because it could sure. it, it could have went to anybody it could have went to Devin Booker right for a player because like I said historically it's going to the best player on the best team which is not necessarily how the MVP award should be picked or should be awarded because there were tons of years where people were saying LeBron should get it because he's the most valuable player on his team mm -hmm. which I don't think is Necessarily correct every single year because I think it's literally the player that plays the best and that has that put their and puts their team in the best position possible 
not only for the playoffs, but to win a championship. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I say that Embiid has a good argument to be MVP for the 2021 to 2022 season. So, that being said, we'll find out here shortly. This is Cash Sports. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our page if you want more. Peace.